Good morning, my name is Katie. I'm one of the co-founders of Disability and Jesus. Uh, and I can smell toast cooking in the kitchen. So I've come outside in the garden to uh, have a little bit of breakfast. And I was pondering the smell of bread and how evocative it is. And it got me thinking about two episodes in the Bible. The first is when the Jews are escaping from captivity in Egypt and they get all the way into the, into the desert and they realise that they don't actually know how to look after themselves because they've been slaves. So they don't know how to organise themselves and be a civilization. Uh, and the thing they run out of first, apart from patience and tolerance, is food. So God sends bread from heaven and he sends just the right amount, not too much, not too little, just the right amount. And he says, this is how you're to regulate it. Don't take more than you need. Don't take less than you need. Here it is. And it's exactly what they're after. So when God provides, he provides the right amount for the right amount of people. And then when Jesus uh, does his wonderful miracle of taking basically a small boy's pack lunch that's been sitting in his pocket, the small boy's pocket, nearly all day in the hot Palestinian sun, and Jesus blesses it, gives thanks for it, and then distributes it. And he feeds best part of 15,000 people with it, and there are leftovers. Five loaves and two fish become a feast for 15,000 hungry people. Hungry literally and spiritually. He feeds them. And there's so much left over that he is generous. What triggered me thinking about the social politics of this is the fact that Steve Chalk recently tweeted about the fact that the food banks that churches are part of are going to be working more than they usually do over this summer period. Because vulnerable families and households will have less at this time. The children who rely on school meals to be fed a decent meal a day will not have that for the next six to seven weeks. And food banks are going to find themselves overrun with people in need. People who just need bread. They just need feeding. I wonder if today we can pray about gratitude for what we do have, about generosity so that if we have more than we need, we can be generous and give away. And just to pray that policies and politics will take on a more godly appearance and that this country will model to the rest of the world what it is to have people who are well fed, fed with what they need and generosity by those around them, a godly way of not being hungry.